Hello everyone, so today we're going to be going over the go-to loop in the C programming language. Now a go-to loop, before we actually show you the syntax and everything, is a very dangerous thing. A go-to loop leads to what programmers call spaghetti code much of the time, and spaghetti code is basically when you have code that just kind of jumps around and resemble, resembles a bowl of spaghetti. Literally, the code just is twisted and doesn't really have a logic flow which people can see. It just kind of goes around messily and doesn't follow an easy to read path. It kind of twists and turns and knots up and things like that, which is why you don't want to have spaghetti code. It's a bad thing for other people to read. And you want to be nice to other people, so don't make spaghetti code. A go to statement uses a statement label, which is really simple and it'll use that uh, statement label to go to that label and execute the code in the label pretty simple now the thing is it's very easy to make an infinite loop with a go to statement which is something you usually don't want to do and even if you do you can use a while loop for it there's no case in which you have to use a go to statement but people still do and it's still a big foundation of the C programming language as well as other high level or not high level low level low level languages such as C++ and other things like that but regardless it's something that's nice to know how to do and it allows you to read other people's code that make that type of code and maybe one day you'll be like but I need my code to resemble a bowl of spaghetti because I am an artist at heart and knowing the go to statement will make everything simpler for you. Anyways, let's get right into the code. We're going to first make an integer variable a equal to 5. Then this is where we start getting into the go to statement and the label the statement labels. A statement label is just a word followed by a colon. So for just simplicity we're going to call it label and then colon. Enter and you'll see that it sets it back a couple spaces from like where you um, said label it goes back like two spaces that's just for readability that's not actually syntax um, there is no way to end a label so once you go into a label a statement label it just continues going through that code word of advice and kind of warning because that's how you end up with infinite loops again so watch out for that now we're going to say print f and then hello comma world and we always want a new line because everything on the same line is just ugly. So next what we want to do is actually add a conditional to, say, to this. We'll say if a is equal to 5 then go to label. Now this right here is an infinite loop and here's the logic behind it. What happens is we make a variable a equal to 5 and then we say this is a code block which we call label. It's going to execute all this code in it and that's all. But the thing is this go to statement says I want to, once you get here go to this code block and execute everything in it. So what's happening is it's saying okay hello world goes down here a is equal to 5 okay go to label hello world oh a is equal to 5 go to label hello world Oh, a is equal to 5, and it keeps repeating that over and over again. So what you want to do with a a case like this, a go-to like infinite loop, is you want to put a++ in the beginning before you say go to label. This makes it so the next time it comes down to this conditional, it'll, oops, <laughs> a is equal to, double equal sign, not, sequ not single, because that causes issues with C and a lot of other languages. But anyways, you want to add this a++ here so that it will increment this to 6 and this conditional here will be false and once this is false it'll stop going to the go to um, it'll stop executing the go to so if we say outside of this if statement print f out of oops, out of the go to loop then we'll just say backslash n. 
Now, we should run this and we should get hello world twice. And then out of the go to loop. Awesome, everything worked out fine. Now, why does it always do it twice? Well, because it prints it out one time here and then it says, okay, this is equal to 5, so then go to it again, prints it out, and then it says, oh, it's not equal to 5, and then it goes down here. And to prove that this A is very important, we can. Oops, we can get rid of that line, save this, compile, run, and then we just get hello world forever. And if this happens to you, just press control C and hopefully your compiler will close it for you. It should. So, don't know why I said hopefully. If it doesn't, then that's a very bad thing and I feel sorry for you. Anyways, that is the go to statement in a nutshell. Now, again, do not use the go to label because it causes issues. For example, if we were to put another label inside of this label, or a label before this one, and then have uh, inside of this label another label, you'll see, you can see, like even me saying it, it's getting confusing, because now your code's going to jump all the way around everywhere. Like, imagine your CPU as a box. It's going to go from like P to F to I to L, L to O, R to N, quote, Quotation parenthesis semi colon label and all that kind of stuff. So it gets annoying and kind of dangerous. So you don't want to use that in your code ever unless for some reason you need to. Like I said, maybe you want your code to be completely unreadable. But regardless, that is the go to loop. I hope you guys understood it a little bit better than what you did before. I mean, it's kind of a stupid concept, but it's needed in the language because it's what makes if statements and things like that possible. Um, you can go research why that is later. But um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you really liked it, press the favorite, um, yeah, press favorite because that always helps, or click the like button because that helps just as well. Watch the video as many times as you need to because that also helps out. And if you want to see future videos, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be seeing you later.